Hi, I'm Seungyeon So, and in this video, I'll be presenting MixNerf modeling array with mixture density for novel synthesis from sparse inputs. First, let's take a quick preview of our research. When NERF is trained with only a sparse set of inputs, it tends to exhibit a notable degradation in performance. A key point of fusion of synthesis is the ability to accurately estimate depths, which is essentially understanding the 3D geometry of the scene. We have paid attention to the fact that the alpha compositing technique and the mixture density model share a conceptual similarity in that they both involve the weighted combination of samples or mixture components. Therefore, we propose MixNerf, which models array with the mixture model by using the blending weights as mixing coefficients. Through our framework, we are able to enable more effective learning for the output densities, leading to the more accurate depth estimation. Furthermore, with our proposed auxiliary task of ray depth estimation, we can further improve the robustness for an overview. First, let's review neural radiance fields, which are called NERF. The core idea is to represent the 3D scene as a continuous 3D function called the radiance field. The network consisting of MLPs takes the 3D point and viewing directions as input and outputs the RGB color and density values. The color and opacity along the array are accumulated to generate the RGB pixel values, which is alpha compositing technique. The network is trained with the loss function comparing the predicted values with the ground truth values from the training images. To train NERF, a diverse set of images is required from different viewpoints. These images are paired with corresponding camera poses. As a result, it achieves a high quality novel synthesis. However, its performance and accuracy can suffer when provided with only a sparse set of inputs due to inaccurate 3D geometry. To tackle this problem, we leverage the Mixture Density Model framework. The Mixture Density Model is a powerful statistical model that offers great flexibility in capturing complex probability distributions. By combining multiple component distributions and adjusting their parameters, the MDM can effectively represent diverse patterns. To train the MDM, maximum likelihood estimation is often used to find a set of parameters that maximize the likelihood of the observed data given the model. The idea behind the mixture model aligns with the concept of alpha compositing as both involve representing a complex multimodal distribution by combining weighted component distributions. Just as a pixel value is obtained by blending estimated RGB values with blending weights along ray samples, we can successfully model a ray using a mixture of distributions without relying on heuristic factors. The blending weights, which determine the mixing coefficients in the mixture model, offer valuable supervisory signals that aid in effectively learning the densities necessary for accurately capturing the 3D scene geometry when only limited input views are available. Let's take a look at the mixed nerve in more detail. First, our mixed nerve estimates the joint distribution of the RGB color values along the samples of the array on a pixel with a mixture model, which is derived from a weighted combination of component distributions, which we set as a Laplacian distribution. And then, we introduce ray depth estimation as a valuable auxiliary task. The ray depth, defined as the length of the anomalized ray direction vector, is estimated with shared scale parameters beta and mixing coefficients pi to model the depths for each ray. By optimizing the mixing coefficients pi and parameter beta using both depths and color values as supervision, our mixed nerve becomes more robust to slight changes in geometry, which is crucial for maintaining high-quality rendered images. Notably, our direct estimation of the ray depths contributes to the overall performance and effectiveness of the mixed nerve. Furthermore, we leverage the estimated ray depths to reconstruct the blending weights along the samples and remodel the RGB color values using a mixture of distributions. The estimated ray depths, while not precisely identical but nearly close to the ground truth ray depths, serves as a pseudo geometry for neighboring points, allowing us to employ the same GT color values of input rays to model the mixture distribution based on the newly generated blending weight. This approach enhances the model's robustness to color shifts and changes in ray viewpoints by effectively remodeling a ray with regenerated blending weights, eliminating the need for pre generation or additional inference of unseen views. During the training process of MixNerf, our objective is to maximize the likelihood of colors and ray depths for a given set of input rays while simultaneously minimizing the mean squared error. As a result, we can straightforwardly define the loss functions to minimize both the negative log likelihood of the GT values and the MSE loss. Lambdas are balancing terms for the losses. Here are the analysis of MixNerf. We present a comparison of the blending weight distributions for casting rays. Our comparison involves MIMNERF and RACNERF, with MIMNERF trained from all training views as the ideal distribution. 
When considering the unimodal distribution in blue, Mimner fails to accurately estimate the mode resulting in degenerate geometry. In contrast, Regnerf and our Mixnerf both exhibit unimodal weight distributions that produce higher quality noble views. Particularly, our Mixnerf achieves a weight distribution with a sharper mode resembling that of Mimnerf or view. For the bimodal shape distribution in red, our mixed nerf successfully estimates the weight distribution while both mim nerf and rag nerf struggle to accurately estimate the modes. We conducted a comparison between our mixed nerf and rag nerf, which utilizes a depth smoothness prior for learning 3D geometry. Our mixed nerf demonstrates the ability to estimate more accurate depth maps with well defined edges, while rag nerf generates both RGB images and depth maps with blurry fine details. Notably, in the case of the realistic synthetic dataset, we observed that Regner fails to effectively learn the geometry due to its smoothing strategy, leading to degenerate results. In contrast, our mixed nerve leverages the mixture density model without additional smoothing from unseen rays, resulting in more efficient and precise predictions of depth maps. Our mixed nerve enhances the efficiency of both the training and inference phases by effectively learning the 3D geometry without requiring additional burdensome training resources. Figure 1 demonstrates the superior performance of MixNerf compared to vanilla MimNerf and two representative regularization methods on the LLFF dataset while requiring reduced training time. Moreover, in terms of inverse efficiency, MixNerf with 32 samples outperforms RegNerf with the default 128 samples and remains comparable even with just 16 samples. Here is our ablation study. We have observed that utilizing a mixture of distributions to model array is beneficial for enhancing performance in scenarios with sparse views. Additionally, our introduced task of ray depth estimation significantly contributes to improving the rendering quality by generating more precise depth maps. However, even with a well-estimated depth map, the RGB image exhibits foggy artifacts around the objects as depicted in the image 3. Through the weight regeneration process, our mixed nerf remodels the array, leading to high-quality RGB images and depth maps. Here are the results of our mixed nerf. In particular, the depth smoothing approach employed by RegNerf leads to a notable decline in performance, suggesting that smoothing is not a universally effective solution across different datasets. On the other hand, our mixed nerf outperforms in rendering quality by exhibiting fewer artifacts and more precise geometry. Here are the results on the DTU dataset. Here are the results on the LLFF dataset. Thanks for your attention.